Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Hello, mister. Well, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> Uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. Now, we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on, now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. Hey, there he is. Come on in. Come on. This is, uh, very kind of you. Don't sweat it, partner. The pleasure's all ours. I hope she ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? Me? Well, sure. Hey, get to know the place. Make yourself at home. Well, just go hurry her up a little. She won't listen to me. <laughs> Go on, partner. She won't mind. <gasps> well, look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> I didn't mean to intrude, miss. <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. She'll, uh, be down in just a minute. Woohoo! That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a chair, partner. Uh, she seems, uh, Real nice lady. Oh, she's my everything, friend. From the womb to the tomb, I'm a lucky man. That's it. Yes, yeah, settle in. Make yourself at home. Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> Wait, this is just about perfect. God. One of them moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us, like a couple of old friends. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a short life, but a merry one. Here we are, all the fixings. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mmm, that smells delicious. <laughs> the food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop <laughs> it, you! How do you like it? Mmm, it's good. Different. Mmm, mmm, mm mm-hmm. That meat is so tender. And you know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was when we was kids. Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Horrible. But we still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a hog killing time. There, there, that's for you. Yeah. There. Yeah. Mm. 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 my manners. <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. <sighs> that stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, I doubt he needs that. Let's loosen you up some more. Come on, honey. I appreciate the hospitality, folks, but I best be on my way. No, already? I thought we was gonna have some fun together. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, we still 
can enjoy ourselves, princess. <laughs> See? He doesn't want to leave. But come on, friend. Sit yourself back down and loosen up a bit. Life's too short. Oh. <laughs> oh. I know just what he wants. You know what any man wants, honey pie. One drink. What's the worst that could happen? Oh. <laughs> what a shame, partner. We were just starting to have a good time. Got myself all warmed up for nothing. Oh, not for nothing, princess. Shh. <laughs> oh. All this food. I think I'm gonna need a lie down. Maybe once our guest leaves, we can have a little dessert upstairs, honey pie. Ooh, you've always been the naughty one. <laughs> What's a meal without a drink and some fun to follow? Real shame you don't want to join us. I can't wait to get to the fun. That's what Paul used to say. I'm a chip off the old block, all right. Well, we had a bit of fun, didn't we, honey? We sure did. I'm sure you two can have more than enough fun without me. Hey there, girl. Easy. <laughs> These here are city folk. You nasty little weasels. Something's up. We are uh, great. Come on. Oh, got friends. Death. Easy now. I knew you wouldn't be able to stay away. What are you cooking? Well, that would be telling. I'll give you a guess, though. Want a taste? Hey there. 
Look who's here. Write the past down, it starts to heal. That's, that's what they say. It was the only way we'd all have peace. Oh, we kept telling you, leave us alone. <laughs> Wish we uh, could have given you a proper burial. But things ain't never perfect. But you love them pigs. And that day, they ate well. Here, open up. Let me know if he needs more cream. This is, uh, very kind of you. <laughs> you animal! you dry
girl. Yeah. It's my life. It's my life. <laughs> I drink. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, hey there. Why, why don't you join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire? Oh. By the fire. Hmm. Bone dry. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. <sighs> Here. Hmm. Hmm. Only f fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones that are killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh-uh. -uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. And I know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a, a young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. I might rest the old eyes a minute. Feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. Sorriest-looking son of a bitch ever I saw. Hey, you! What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick-draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to... Tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? 
Well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee-deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right. I'll shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Yeah, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girlie. Why, a feminine type like you? I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you. Like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> Okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on. Tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness! <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! No. No. No! You did not! Took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do.
Hold up now. Morning. You're going to freeze just wearing that. So, I got hold of that fountain pen for you. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Here, please take this. Something I acquired along the way. Mrs. Adler. Morning, Arthur. Here, got a hold of a harmonica for you. I look forward to hearing you play. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Huh. Fair enough. But thank you, Arthur. This is real kind of you. We are not criminals. We are outlaws. Hi, Tilly. Morning, Arthur. I found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. Well, don't mind me, Tilly. Morning, Arthur. Arthur! You smell. It's cologne. It's liquor. It's cologne from Cologne, Germany. <laughs> oh, I, I just had a few nips, Arthur. I'm not drunk. I'm just happy. <laughs> you know, you ought to try sometime. Drinking? Happiness. Try happiness. Just, just a little, huh? I can't say I'm doing too well. That's how it goes sometimes. 